In the last video lecture we covered the terms immunogenicity and antigenicity. Today we will talk about the properties which determine the immunogenicity of a substance. But before that, let's clear any doubt regarding the terms immunogen and antigen. Immunogen is any substance that induces an immune response. And Antigen is any substance that is capable of binding specifically to the components of the immune system such as to the antibodies. Nowadays, the terms antigen and immunogen are used interchangeably by immunologists. Let us now study the properties of a substance which determine its immunogenicity. Immunogenicity of a substance is determined by following four main properties. Foreignness Molecular size Chemical complexity and Stability or degradability Let's discuss them one by one. Foreignness By the term foreign we mean non-self. Our immune system is able to distinguish between self and non-self. To be immunogenic, the substance should be genetically foreign to the host. It should be different from the host's own substances. As we know immunogens are mostly peptides or proteins in chemical composition. Now if the peptide of immunogen is of similar nature to the peptides of host organism, there will be no immune response against the antigen. For example, bovine serum albumin, abbreviated as BSA. It is a protein which is found in all cows. So, if BSA is injected from one cow into another, there will be no immune response. Because the protein is identical and for the immune system of every cow this BSA is a self molecule. But, if the BSA is injected into a rabbit, an immune response is induced. This is because BSA is foreign to rabbit's immune system. So, for a molecule to be immunogenic, it must be recognized as foreign by the immune system. More foreign a molecule is, more is its immunogenicity. Second property which determines the immunogenicity of a substance is its molecular size. It has been found that relatively small substances have decreased immunogenicity whereas large substances have increased immunogenicity. The most potent immunogens are molecules with molecular weight above 10,000 Daltons. Highly immunogenic molecules have a molecular weight of 1 lakh Daltons or more. Molecules with weight than 10,000 Daltons are weakly immunogenic or not immunogenic at all. So, greater the molecular weight, more immunogenic it is. Next important property which determines the immunogenicity of a substance is, its chemical composition and molecular complexity. Antigens can be carbohydrates, lipids, nucleic acids, and proteins chemically, but their immunogenicity varies. Carbohydrates are immunogenic only if, they have relatively complex polysaccharide structure or when associated with protein carriers. For example, blood group antigens. Lipids and nucleic acids are not immunogenic by themselves, but they become immunogenic when they are conjugated to protein carriers. Proteins are generally the powerful immunogens and this is because of their molecular complexity and size. The molecular complexity of proteins is a consequence of the variety of units known as amino acids, of which proteins are made of. Besides having number of different amino acids proteins have four levels of protein structure, primary structure, secondary structure, tertiary structure, and quaternary structure. This also contributes to the immunogenicity of a molecule. Let's take an example. This is a homopolymer of an amino acid. It has a molecular weight of 30,000 Daltons. Now, if we look at its molecular weight, it should be immunogenic. 
but this is not the case because of the absence of chemical complexity. Now, this is a copolymer which is composed of different amino acids and its molecular weight is more than 10,000 daltons. So, it is immunogenic. Thus, molecules with complex nature are more immunogenic when compared to simple molecules. Now we will discuss the final property of immunogenicity of a substance and it is Stability or degradability We know that to stimulate immune response a substance should bind with B cell receptors or T cell receptors. B cells interact with the substance on its own that is via its B cell receptors. But T cell receptors do not interact with the substance as a whole. They interact with a distinct portion of the substance which are short peptides. These small molecules are result of antigen processing and presentation which we will study later. Large, insoluble macromolecules generally are more immunogenic than small, soluble ones because larger molecules are more readily degraded and processed and presented to the immune system. This also explains why proteins are excellent immunogens. On the other hand, highly stable and non-degradable substances are not immunogenic. For example, silicon. Thus, to be immunogenic, a substance must be degradable. Highly stable and non-degradable substances are not immunogenic. 